Come on, keep going, keep going. <laughs> this video is made possible nah, by I, value I like testers. I like the guy, I like the guy. I like the guy too, but he's funny. <laughs> he's got that New England accent. From Boston. Boston. All right, guys. We're gonna get some uh, some service calls this morning. All right, all right. Here, got here, my buddy over here. We gonna get some stuff over here. Okay, get him, get him. Get some eggs, get chickens. some eggs from the chicken. Get him, get him. Steve got his doggy. I got Kelvin. <laughs> Hello, Kelvin. What's up? How are you? Good. You know what this is? Uh, pressure reducing. Uh, pressure reducing valve. What does instructions say in front of there? What does that say? A three valve pressure. What does that oh, say? Oh, oh, oh. Re reduce pressure zone. Okay, so what is this called? A reduced pressure zone. What does a reduced pressure zone do? Do you know? Uh, I'm assuming it just reduces the water pressure, the incoming water pressure. No. no, it's a backflow preventer. And we're gonna test this Wilkins. 975XL2. This is a two inch reduced pressure zone. It is used to prevent uh, a cross connection or a contamination of the public water supply. Coming up from the ground here, which is coming from the street, we have this two inch copper water main. We've got some issues here with valves and leaks over there, but our incoming water goes across here. We have a bypass here to bypass the meter, I guess to ensure we still have water flow to the, uh, the building. So our direction of flow is coming across this way. It goes through, check valve number one, check valve number two, and then continues on and around to the building water supply. We also have a secondary um, backflow preventer there. This is a double check valve, and this is used for an irrigation system. So today we're here to test this Wilkins 975 two inch RPZ. I already have test cocks, test ports, <laughs> adapters connected to test uh, port number one, two, three, and four. Number one is not needed, but I'm just hooking it up there anyway. So one of the first things we do when we test a backflow preventer is we have to determine the direction of flow. And the direction of flow is going this way. Once we know that, we know that this is number one, that's two, three, and four. This is shutoff valve number one, this is shutoff valve number two. So, we determine direction of flow, perfect. Close shutoff valve number two, valve. No discharge should be coming from this discharge, um, this relief valve. So right now we're gonna close shutoff valve number two, like that, and we don't have any discharge coming from the relief valve there. If we did, the device fails, and we have to figure out why. Now we're going to blow off test cocks number two, three, and four to eliminate any dirt and debris. I got a little flat screwdriver right here. I'm just going to turn that flat just like that, just to blow off some air and debris, mostly debris, that could possibly be in the test port. Boom. Once that's done, we are going to connect our high pressure hose to test cock number two. The yellow hose on our Watts TK9A is the high pressure hose. We're gonna connect that to test port number two, right, Kelvin? Yes. All right, next. The low connect pressure. low pressure hose to test cock number three. The low pressure hose is the red hose. That's gonna go on number three, which is right there. Now, we are going to bleed. Oh, sorry, we're gonna open, open test cocks two and three. Let me open up, let me, sorry, let me close A, B, and C on the control valve, on the, oh, sorry, the uh, TK9A. I'm gonna open up test port number two, and I'm gonna open up test port number three. What do we got? No, what do we got there? Next. Oh, open test cocks two and three, bleed high pressure hose through control valves A and C on test kit. And then close A. We're going to open test cocks number two and three, which we just did. We're going to bleed high pressure hose through control valves A and C on the test kit. So this is A and this is C. We are discharging water through that. And then we are going to close A. Let me open that up a little bit more. We're going to close A like that. Okay. Okay. 
we closed A, we're going to bleed low pressure hose through control valves B and C on the test kit and close B and C. So we're going to open up B, purging any air through that line. We're going to close B and close C. Note line pressure and pressure drop across first check valve and PSID. So right now, we have a little drip on that valve. Let me get a little channel lock. This is real world, guys. Let's see if I can put a little... Hmm. All right, let's open this up so I can get the channel lock in there and tighten up the packing on that, which is pretty tight as it is, but okay, at least the leak stopped. You want to take care of your tools, your tools will take care of you. All right, back to the instructions. Note, line pressure, PSIG, and pressure drop across first check valve. So let's make note of that. So right now we're at like 2.4. Now to test the relief valve, we're gonna open control valve A in the test kit and slowly turn, slowly open control valve B. Relief valve should, you keep farting, Kelvin? That's not me. What mean it's not you? Is no one else in here, is there? No, that wasn't me. The fuck, Kelvin? I really, I really didn't do anything. Fuck. I really didn't do anything. You've been farting for the past 48 hours. No, I really, that wasn't me. I don't, there's, I mean, there's no one else here. I, I smell it. I don't know. I, I know there's tons of gas meters here, but if I smell I, I, methane, I, I, it's, it's coming from them. Yeah, that really it's wasn't freaking me. freaking guy, man. That wasn't me. That's what he says. It wasn't me. <laughs> <sighs> that really wasn't me. That really wasn't me. I, I didn't even smell it. All right, we need to repressurize this first of all. Hold that for a second. Fucking Calvin, man. Okay. Now, open A like this. Well, let's redo that again. I, I had B closed, so I B opened. So let's do that. Okay, now we're going to open A and slowly open B and notice when the relief valve opens. So it's A and B and the relief valve is gonna open slowly. There it is. All right, it got down pretty low. Let's try it again, double check our, our readings. Let's repressurize this. Open A, slowly open B, and make a note of when that opens. Now we're at 2 PSID. It opens it around under 2. So, relief valve should open at 2 PSID or above. Note opening PSID. So if a relief valve opens below t two PSID, the relief valve is faulty. So now we're gonna have to take this apart and see if there's any debris in there and go from there. All right, Kelvin, after he farted, we shut off valve number one, valve number two. I took out the bolts off the cover that's holding back the relief valve and I spun the gasket around. Just like a washer on a, uh, you know, a stem in a shower or a tub. So, right now we're gonna continue the test. We're gonna start again and close shut off valve number two. Make sure that there's no discharge present on the relief valve, which there is not. We're going to bleed water through A and C first, like such. Then we're gonna bleed water through B and C like such and we're going to make note of our PSIG which is right around three and now we're going to open A and slowly open B and it opened right at right around two this time so that's good next 
Open test cock number four, reestablish pressure across first check valve. So this is test cock number four. Okay, like that. Now, close test cock number four. Needle should go back to the original pressure drop, which right around is three, and no discharge should be present on the relief valve, which it's not. If so, check valve number one is good. We're gonna connect the bypass hose to test cock number four. Like that, and we're gonna open control valves A and C on the test kit. A is already open, C is open. If there's no discharge on the relief valve, check valve number two is good. And we have no discharge on the relief valve. We're gonna close all test cocks, disconnect the test kit. We're gonna make sure we get all the water out of that. And this device has passed.